I'm so glad you're here today, Terry, yeah. because you were in the news lately. Apparently, you and Russell Crowe are dating. What is going My first thought, <laughs> our first thought was lucky Russell. Definitely. That's really kind of you, <laughs> and he is very lucky to be embroiled in all of these great rumors. <laughs> and um, we are friends, so he did contact me and ask me if there was something I should let him know. <laughs> but um, in all honesty, uh, he and Steve became friends many years ago, and after Steve passed, it, you find out who your true friends are. And Russell has been very loyal as a great friend. The Steve Irwin Wildlife Reserve wasn't always a reserve. It was in danger of being strip mined. And for six years, we battled to protect it. And Russell was right there. He talked about the situation publicly and stood up and helped us and is a great guy, but absolutely just a dear friend. Nothing so. going on then. Nothing Seven. going on. You know, I think we're really lucky if we have a few friends in life. Mm -hmm. And you know the saying, I'd rather have, when it comes to friends, I'd rather have four quarters than a hundred pennies. So he's definitely a quarter. You know, he's love a that. great guy. But, um, but no, we, we love his family and um, we'll keep it just Russell, as friends. Yeah, How did yeah. it start? How did all this silly rumor start that I, you can't be friends with anybody? Know. I don't know, I don't but it is intriguing to me as someone who's, who's lost my husband mm -hmm. in talking to other women in the same circumstance, how the dynamics will change in your life. And I haven't dated anyone in Aww. the 10 years since we lost mm -hmm. Steve, just because I feel a connection still with Steve. You know, when you take those vows, and say we'll be together as long as we both shall live. Yeah. It's re I really don't think I would have married if I hadn't met Steve. And he's very special to me and continues to be. And I've got beautiful kids oh. and a lot of wonderful conservation work. So I'm, I'm lonely for Steve, but I'm not a lonely person. But, so. oh. but Bindi, do you want your mom to get out there and date? <laughs> <laughs> Come you know, on. I mean, honestly, all I want in life is mom's happiness. Aww. But every time I look at mom, she's still married to dad. So yeah. why would you ever want someone to oh. go out if they're already still happy? And if they're, they're happy with being married and they found their soulmate. That's what people sometimes forget is mm -hmm. that when you find your soulmate, if, if you found that soulmate, you really don't want to move on. So mom had her soulmate and mom and dad will always be married and always be together. And yeah. I think that's a beautiful thing. So I think we should all be allowed to do whatever feels right and whatever brings us the most happiness because life is short. So find true love, have an adventure and be content within yourself. I'm crying over here. Oh my this gosh, I, like, I, I found my true I love. <laughs> It is a really good point, though, in your grief journey, if it's not hurting yeah. yourself or anyone else, then it's the right thing to do. Yeah. So a lot of people find love again, and it's yeah. a beautiful thing. Yeah. But um, but I, I'm pretty You're content. Happy. Yeah, I'm I love you, Terry, for you, coming bro. on and talking about it, too. Thank yeah. you for allowing us to yeah. ask and to answer. Sure, no words. And they're that so great. happy all together. And we're so happy. Oh, oh, happy. Oh, 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 hugs for all. Whatever you're doing, you win Mama of the Year. Yeah.